Hello, in this video I'm going to solve problem 4.1.5. I'll be finding the yield rate for an investment in a bond when the coupons, the interest payments you get for the bond, are reinvested in another account. So Don purchases a 1000 par value or face value bond. It's a 10 year bond with, as usual, semi annual coupons at 8% 8 semi annual rate. Uh, that would be the nominal rate. The actual effective rate would be half of that, 4%. The purchase price is 900 The face value and par value there of 1000 would be the same as the redemption value. That's not stated, but that would be the assumed thing if they don't say otherwise. He's able to reinvest his coupon payments at a nominal rate of 6% convertible semi-annually. The goal is to calculate the nominal annual yield rate for this overall investment convertible semi-annually over the 10-year period. Like in the last video, I think I want to solve this without a number line, without a timeline. Again, that's usually a good thing to do, especially when you're new at this. But I do also want to advocate the fact that for relatively simple problems like this, you want to be good enough that you could do it without a number line, and if you, at least if you're confident in what you're doing. And so I'm going to do that here. What are the coupon payments? That would be good to know. What is F times R? F is the face or par value. That's 1,000. R is not 8%. It's 4%. R is the uh, semi-annual or periodic coupon rate. Take the 8% divide by 2. 4%. So 1,000 times 0.04 is 40. The coupon payments are of 40. Those are going to get reinvested in this other account. And I want to find the accumulated value of that after 10 years. 10 year period here. The accumulated or future value would be 40 times S20. There are 20 payments because it's a 10 year bond with semi annual payments of coupons. The um, coupon payments again are invested at a 6% rate convertible semi annually. Take that 6% and divide it by 2 to get 3% or 0 0.03. That is the future value we want to calculate for what the uh, investments of these coupons grows to. So take 1.03, raise it to the 20th power, subtract 1, divide by 0 0.03, multiply by 40. This amount is 1,074.81. Let me round it, and I think I will just go ahead and round it there like that. That's not the final amount that your original 900 grows to. You also get your original the face value or par value back, again, the redemption amount here is assumed to be the same as the face or par value, unless stated otherwise. So your final amount that you have after 10 years is 2,074.81. So we want to find what uh, annual, nominal annual yield rate, call it I2, will cause our original 900 investment to grow to this amount after 10 years. So we want to solve the equation 900 times 1 plus I2 over 2 to the 20th power, 10 years, this is convertible semi-annually, uh, will equal 2,074.81. Let's just solve this now with the calculator. 2,074.81, divide by 900. I guess I'm not using more decimal places. Maybe I should have. Oh, well. Divide by 900 to get this. Raise both sides to the 120th power, which is 0 0.05 power. 0 0.05 power to get this. I'll need to subtract 1 then and multiply by 2. The answer for I2 is approximately 0 0.0853. And I think if we use more decimal places, this probably would still be the case. 8.53%. And that is the answer to this problem.